Hey everyone, Todd from Sideshow FX once again, and in this video, I'm going to demonstrate the installation process for our DaVinci Pro Profiles Pack for the Stream Deck Plus device. Now I'm going to be demonstrating it on the Mac system, and uh, where we need to, we'll switch over to the uh, Windows system to show you uh, the installation process for that part that's unique to the Windows system. But most of this will take place in the Mac system and it works the same in the Windows. So the first thing you want to do is we need to install some keyboard shortcuts into DaVinci. And this is the shortcut file that comes with our pack. We have created a shortcut file based off of DaVinci's default file, but added a whole bunch of new ones for you. So what we need to do is go into DaVinci and we'll navigate to the DaVinci keyboard customization and in this box up along here, the ellipses on the top right, we're going to select Import Preset. You'll navigate to the folder you downloaded from Sideshow FX, the DaVinci Pro Stream Deck Plus pack. Go to Keyboard Shortcuts, go into your operating system. I'm on the Mac right now, and this is the one that I would import, DaVinci Resolve uh, Sideshow FX Pro 5. And I've already got that loaded, so I won't do it. And that will load up, and that will be the one you want to be working with. Now the next thing we need to do is import the profiles that are part of this pack. Now this pack is unique, it's not just one profile, it's nine profiles that are all interconnected. So if you go into your uh, download and go into Stream Deck, and I'm on the Mac here, so I go into the Mac, you can see all nine profiles here. On the Mac you should be able to click on the first one, sh hold shift, and click on the last one, and then do a right click and if you have Stream Deck open, you should be able to say open with Elgato Stream Deck. And they will all import together. Now, sometimes it will miss one or two of them. So it is more accurate to double click each one of these. So you would just double click each one of these files and it loads it in one by one. So let's do that now. And there we are, we've loaded them all in. You can see they've been loaded on the bottom of my profiles window pane here. So on the Windows side, uh, you, you can't select all of these and do a right click and open them up with, uh, with um, the Stream Deck, it doesn't work that way. So you do have to do the one by one uh, when you import these. Now once these are imported, the one thing that is unique to the Windows version of this pack versus the Mac version is we have a volume controller here uh, built into into the pack and this is a new plugin from Elgato it is Windows only at this time now you will need to load this but at the time of this recording it is not actually available in the store we got an advanced copy of the plugin and therefore we're able to integrate it into our pack but you should be able to go to your Stream Deck store and go to the plugin section and I am told that if you search for volume control that it should appear. Obviously it's not here right now because they haven't included it into the store. But that's what you'll do. You'll click on, uh, or you'll, you'll type in the search box volume control and when you do that it will pop up. Uh, it's, it should be called uh, volume controller or something like that and you'll see the blue install and click the install and it'll load in and then this will become live for you and this will allow you to raise and lower the audio volume of the DaVinci application when you're working with it. Now we have to do a little bit of linking uh, now that the profiles are in so that when we can so that we can move seamlessly from one profile to the next. So let's jump over We'll go in our pull down here. We'll go into the DaVinci main, and this is the main profile that everything points to and is pointed towards. Now, if you're using dynamic linking, what we can do is go into our profiles here. We can locate the main profile. Here it is here, and under the application, we can point it to our DaVinci application. It's not showing up there, so I'll point to it here. This is in my application folder. Say so, okay, so, and what this will do is when DaVinci launches, this profile will come forward on the Stream Deck device. Now you see there's a warning here. There are multiple profiles using DaVinci Resolve to launch. 
So if you scroll up here, you'll see that there's an icon beside another one here. I'll click on this one and just say none. And then that will make this profile appear when I move over to DaVinci. Right, so as I said, everything is interconnected. So what I mean by that is each one of these buttons will launch the profile that it is associated with and will also jump you to a particular room in DaVinci. So with the media, you can see that uh, this is a multi-action, so we need to double click this and you can see that the multi-action, the first thing it will do is switch the profile when this button is pressed. Right now it's defaulting to one of my other profiles here, which is incorrect. We need to point this to the DaVinci Media Management profile that we just imported. And the second item that will happen after it switches the profile, it will launch the media page in DaVinci. All right, so we step back out. We're gonna double click on cut. And on this one, we want it to launch the speed editor profile. Say okay. Double click edit. Switch profile. Point it to the editing profile. Color. Switch profile, point to the grading profile. Multicam, switch profile, point to the multicam profile. Fusion, switch profile, point to the fusion profile. Fairlight, switch profile, point to Fairlight and printer light, the printer light profile, we're going to go to the printer lights profile. So if we open up DaVinci, you can see currently I'm in the media room. Clicking on any one of the buttons on our device will launch that profile, turn it on on our device, and it will also move us to the appropriate room. Say for example, I want to go to uh, the color workspace. Clicking on color launches the color room in DaVinci and it also launches our color profile on our device. Now as you can see we've got a main key on the top left here that is designed to take us back to where we just were which was the main profile so that we can go to other places. This one also has to be redirected because when we import unfortunately Stream Deck doesn't import our original assignment so we need to assign that as well. We'll go back to our software we're going to click first on main and once again down here under profile when we switch when we press that button we want to go back to the main profile and we're going to do this for all of the profiles that we've got loaded here so that was grading let's go back up to editing here main main fairlight Main, main, fusion, main, main, grading we just did, media management, main, main, multicam, main, main, Printer lights, main, and speed editor, main, main. Now I'm going to go back to DaVinci. You can see I'm in the speed editor profile right now. Now clicking on main will take us back to the main page. Fusion launches Fusion in DaVinci, gives us our Fusion profile page, main. Edit, brings up the edit page, brings up the edit profile, etc. So now you've got the full closed loop. So that's all the setup that's required. You're all set and ready to go. I encourage you to take a look at our navigation video that gives you a good idea of how everything is laid out and how it can best be used for your DaVinci workflow. As always, thanks for watching and we'll talk to you soon.